You know, a lot of people accuse Ann Coulter of being a disingenuous provocateur. They say that she makes her living as a calculated caricature of an anti-progressive and that it's all an act designed to generate press by saying whatever she has to say to sound more horrible and heartless than before. But I'm willing to give her the benefit of the doubt. I think she really is a loathsome racist bitch and also a self-loathing misogynist. That was all on full display last week during the latest stop on her Fuck the Mexicans promotional tour for her new anti-immigration screed of a book, Adios America. On a radio interview with Gavin McInnes, she expounded on her liberals are funneling in immigrants to drown out the white vote thesis that underscores the book, and then revealed what was truly at fault, vaginas. Yep, apparently the real problem at the heart of America's woes is women's suffrage. Now, don't get me wrong, I imagine Ann Coulter's vag looks a lot like that thing the Hulk punched to death at the end of the Avengers, and if that was my primary experience with lady bits, I'd probably be a little distrustful too. And if your goal was to convince people women shouldn't be allowed to vote, you couldn't ask for a better strategy than being Ann Coulter. All that being said, I offer my considered response. Fuck you, Nazi olive oil. And speaking of people that can go fuck themselves, radical right-wing rabbi Daniel Lappin appeared on Glenn Beck's radio show last week to offer the world the gynecological insights of two fat old men who couldn't moisten a vagina with a super soaker. Specifically, they were talking about why women get so darned weepy when they get that visit from Aunt Flo. The good rabbi explained, quote, foolish and insensitive people say, oh, it's just a hormonal imbalance, but it isn't. It's a genuine, authentic sadness which suffuses any sensitive woman at the loss of an egg. End quote. That's right, ladies. His theory is that the reason some women are emotionally compromised during menstruation is that they're burdened with the guilt of the baby their uterus just murdered. And notice he qualified that with any sensitive woman. So, you know, if you don't cry for your dead half pre babies, it's probably because you're a cold hearted bitch. I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a theory the good old rabbi came up with when he was trying to figure out why he cries when he jerks off. Prick. Now, unfortunately, that's all I've got for you this week. And it's not that I didn't have plenty of other sexist news items to choose from. The truth of the matter is, I saw the first five minutes of the movie Noah Heath and Eli are going to be reviewing this week, and I'm guessing they'll need every second they can get to explain just how fucking nuts it was. So, without further ado, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath. 